Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and I am so excited to give you a closer look at our new collection of stamps and dies and masterpieces made simple called Blooming 2022. And in this collection we have some gorgeous dies, layering dies, really elegant, stunning, loose and open line art stamps. We have some new brush stroke stamps for you that are really gorgeous. We've also got cute critters that are great for really any occasion that you may have. Cute little teddy bears as well. And we've got some really charming and whimsical designs as well as a new set of masterpieces made simple pre-printed designs. So let's take a look here at each of these new products and tons of card ideas featuring them. So before we look at all of these, we have two new sentiments in this, uh, sentiment sets in this collection. The first is 30-914, so thankful. You may want to just hit pause so you can look at these closer. And I'll also have all of these linked for you on our blog and our YouTube description box below so you could look at them closer in the online store. The second of the new sentiment sets is 30-897, thoughts and prayers. Both of these have a lots of different sentiments that you can use for many different occasions. And you'll see them on throughout all of these cards today. So we have some bold and elegant creative dies in this collection and I am super, super excited about these. So the first is 51-740 Recollection and these are layering dies. So essentially you can cut two or three pieces and layer them on top of each other and it will give the look that you have shaded and created this really stunning um, flower. And so here I've done it just using cardstock, so colored cardstock. No painting is required to create this really dimensional shaded look, but I'm also showing you how you can paint the different layers and get this really stunning look as well. So all of those are featuring that recollection flower. Another one of these really beautiful layering dies is 51-735 and impression. And I love these daisies. These are super easy to layer. Here I've done them in just a set of three with the stems and the leaves that all come apart of this set. And then I've used these same flowers and layered them up in a different way to get the look of like a totally different flower. So this is so versatile and a super easy set to work with if you're new to layering dies or if you're not, this is a really fun set to start with and there's just a lot of different possibilities with it. Next up we have 51-734 Courier. This is a very easy to use layering die with this adorable bird and branch. I've also added some other dies and stamps with this and I actually I loved working with this. I made a set of four cards with it and all of the cards that you're seeing today will be shown on our blog. I'll link to that down in the YouTube description box below and within that blog post uh, we will link to every single product that's used on each card so you can get a closer look and easily find them in our online store by going to our blog and following those links there. Next up is another gorgeous layering die, Splendid. Here is a look at what that looks like when you layer those pieces. This is just using colored cardstock, so it's so easy to do. You don't have to paint if you don't want to, and you can get this beautiful, really almost kind of pop art, just a really stunning look with lots of dimension. Or if you love to paint, here I've done it by paint painting these pieces. So I cut them all from white watercolor paper and then painted them in. And I hope to have some really fun videos showing you both of the techniques here using colored cardstock or using paints. So I hope to have those technique videos coming very soon. Next up is 51-737 called Whisper. Now this is not a layering die but you can still do layering with it but you can also just cut it um, as a single piece and paint it in or even use it just like a white die. It's just such a stunning silhouette. I've used it there on a slimline card and here I've used it just cutting it one time and painting it in. So it's a very easy to use and lots of possibilities again with that one. Next up is 51-736 Duet. This is so gorgeous once it's cut. So for the first one here, I've just used colored cardstock. Very simple card to do, very easy to do. And um, I just love here, I've cut it twice. And so you can get a look at what that looks like 
kind of layered two times on the card. And then here I've done a slimline card, again cutting it twice, but this time painting it to give it a different look. But I just love by just the way you position this, there are so many different ways that you can use this. It's a really versatile die. Here is 51-738 Hummingbird. This die was such a surprise to me. I don't always go for hummingbirds, but now I think I've been converted and I'm a hummingbird fan. <laughs> so I've done a couple of cards here with this. I wanted to go for a really modern look. So I added all the color by painting my die cut and then just stamped in a light gray some flowers, more on those flowers coming soon, those are new, and then added a die cut sentiment. Then as a reverse, here I did all the color on the flowers and just kept the hummingbird in black and white. So it's really fun to play with and the detail on that die really lets you have, let the rest of your card be very clean and simple and yet it looks very finished. So we do have new Masterpieces Made Simple, a new set of four of those. Now if you're new to our Masterpieces Made Simple, I'm going to link some more videos for you about those down below. But these are pre-printed panels on pre premium cardstock. It has a gorgeous linen finish. They're 3.25 by 4.5 inches each. So they are a great fit for your cards. We like to curate some of our previously released dies that work really well with these for you. So there's stitched loops, airy and textural are the ones I've featured with this. So here you can see all I've done is use that stitched loops die and stamped a sentiment onto that Masterpieces Made Simple panel and it is such a gorgeous card. It really is a masterpiece and it really could not be more simple. So again here I've used that stitched loops die to create a frame stamped a sentiment and my card is complete. These are standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards. For a different layout here I've used that textural die along the bottom and just matted that masterpieces made simple onto a piece of craft card stock. And then here for something a little different I embellished right on top of the masterpieces made simple with that airy die. This collection also has new brush stroke stamps. Brush stroke stamps are a solid silhouette stamp that really give you the look of a hand painted design. It doesn't stamp an outline that you color in. You're actually doing your stamping and coloring right on the stamp itself. So the first here is aromatic. I love this tall design. This is a five by seven card just to give you an idea on size and I just love that narrow vase. Just everything is so unique about this. We have 40-833 Abundant Blooms. Again just a gorgeous lines on this stamp. The way those stems curl up and the flowers flow down. I just think it's so beautiful and so unique. I love these two together. They're also pretty easy to work with because the part of the image is smaller and makes it easier to stamp. Here I've combined both of those coming off the edge of my card. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So you can see you can use them with the vase or without. Next up we have 40-823 Purity. If you love orchids this is a really pretty one. I've done a couple of cards with it. The first here, I just stamped this using my ink pads and a little bit of marker directly on the stamp itself and then added some inking and distressing to the background. Here is another sample. This one I really love, but you can see with the stamp by the way you position it on your card, you can really get a different look. What type of layering you do, it can just give you a totally different look. Next up is 40-828 Fleeting Moment. Again, I love the graceful lines of this. I've stamped it coming off of the edge of my um, sort of panel here and added some distressing with that. You can see here that you get some really nice detail, but also again that look that those just hand painted on your card. This is that same stamp turned and positioned a different way on the card with some different stamps layered in the background to give you a totally different look. So there's just lots and lots of possibilities with these stamps. Now next up we have a couple of stamps that are just pure charm. Last release you loved the stamps illustrated by Anne Keenan Higgins. So we have a couple more for you. This is 40-843 Here's to You. 
This also comes with some great little sentiments in the set. Here is the first card that I've created with this, again using just a very easy watercolor technique. I've done a video featuring this technique. It's super easy to do. I'll link that for you down in the YouTube description box below. Here is that same stamp. I changed up what she's holding. So I love stamps that kind of have a hand sticking out so you can put lots of different things in there. So here I've just added a one of our die cuts in there just to give this another look full of whimsical charm. Again, another stamp illustrated by Ann Keenan Higgins is this one, Lovely Letter. You can see those little sentiments at the top. They fit perfectly on the letter. So if you want to switch that around, you can. This is just that very loose, easy watercoloring that I show you in that other uh, video, which I'll link below. So fun, so simple. Here I've switched things up so you can stamp it with the pot down below or just move it down on your card and have it like this. You can see you can mix and match different things onto that envelope, different sentiments or sayings that you want to use. Now this release has some stunning, elegant line art stamps. I really love how open these images are and these flowers are, but they still have such personality. So this is 40-850 Blooming. And I've done some very simple cards with these using no line watercolor techniques. And for this I like to stamp with Memento Toffee Crunch or Memento Desert Sand onto Canson 140 pound watercolor paper and then I just paint them in using Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors. This is 40-826 Gardens Grace. Same technique done here. And if you go through our YouTube channel here, our videos, I have lots of videos showing this technique. But oh my gosh, how stunning is that? Just added a die cut sentiment and the card is finished. Here is 40-849 Unique. This is one of those uh, flowers that I showed you with the hummingbird and I'll give you another look at that again. This is a very easy to color. You can go very sort of whimsical and loose with this as well and even do some kind of fun whimsical colors because I think it just has sort of a dreamy look to the illustration. So here's that hummingbird card where I've used that and where it even looks so pretty just stamped in gray in gray on a card. It looks very modern. Here's another look at it. See, I couldn't get enough of it <laughs> with one of our critter stamps and I'll show you that again here in a minute. But again, very fun stamp to work with. This is 40-854 Gladness. Again, a nice large size. It gives you um, a lot of room and area to color or paint it in, or you can do it very simply. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card just to give you an idea for size. And again, it looks pretty even just stamped in very modern way with just some gray and adding a die cut embellishment. You could use the hummingbird, you could use butterflies. Here's another look at it um, painted here on this brick wall by this cute critter. <laughs> Next up, let's take a look at our furry friends. And the first here, you've already seen it a couple of times. This is 30-909 painted. And this is so fun to do because you could use this layout with our wood floors die cut and add anything you want up at the top of your card. It does have these great sort of hand painted sentiments you can use with it, but really you could put whatever you want with that. Next up is 30-910 Journey. I think this is such a fun, happy image. All of these critter stamps, they just tell a story in just one stamp. And I always feel so happy when I'm creating with them. You can use them for so many occasions, graduations, retirement, somebody starting a new job, travel. I mean, there's just so, even a birthday, you could use these. Um, I, I just think that they are so fun. You can customize them with the colors that your recipient loves. Here, I've popped it up, fussy cut it out, and put it on a slimline card. This is 30-912. It might be my favorite stamp of this whole collection. <laughs> 
Um, but I know I say that about a lot of them. But how cute are these guys dancing? They've got like sort of their 80s look in the Ghetto Blaster boom box there. <laughs> and I fussy cut them and added with some of our slimline dies on this card. But if you like to keep things more simple here, I've just stamped them. This is a, just a standard size card. And I stamped them going around the edge of the card and added them there with one of our new sentiments. So just really fun to color. There's no way you can be stamping with these and not be smiling while you're creating with them. This is 30-913 Bouquet Bunches. Really great. Another set where you can use it for so many different occasions. Thinking of you. Love. Friendship. Uh, get well soon. There's just so many ways you can use this and it's just so sweet. Simple and sweet. Fun to color. Here you can see this is nearly a one layer card I've done with it with just a die cut sentiment on there. Um, and just so cute and sweet. I feel like these little critters embody us like people as little critters and they're just so happy. Look at the smiles with that bouquet. All I did was stamp those on one layer and add some die cuts to it. This is 30-915 Hip Hip Hooray. Again, just so much happiness with this. I loved adding our sign and sentiment die cut with this. What a great way to cheer someone on, to send some encouragement, or a really great kids card as well. Here we have 30-916 Unstoppable. Just a way to, again, encourage, to celebrate someone's achievements. Great for kids. So just... Um, it doesn't have to be for a sport or graduation. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. Somebody, people just need to know that they're unstoppable and good job and keep it up. You're doing great, even just for the regular things of life. <laughs> like this here, the sentiment, this is part of the set. Thinking of you and how amazing you are. What a great way to just brighten someone's day by sending them these cute critters, giving them a round of applause, and they know you're thinking of them. Now we do have a couple of teddy bear stamps, great for family cards. This is 30-908 Mama Bear. I think this is great for Mother's Day, but you could also do this just for sending hugs for a child's card, new baby. So you can use it for lots of different things. I just fussy cut this out and added it on a simply stamped background. And then one more, this is 30-911 Papa Bear, but again, this could be used for lots of other occasions, not just for Father's Day. And I did some simple stamping and inking on the background, and then Fussy cut this out and popped it up on the front. I sure, sure hope you've enjoyed taking a look at our new Blooming Collection. Again, all the things I said would be linked down in the YouTube description box below are there for you. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter, as well as Instagram, our website, and our blog. Again, all linked for you down in the description box below. Happy stamping!